I got married at the end of 2019. I got married to a woman. Old school. Okay, pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty traditional fella. Do you think the old fashioned way? Um, people make judgments about you when you get married young. They want to know how traditional you are. Oh, yo, where was it like a white wedding? I was like, yeah, mainly. Although my friend Phil's Chinese, he was there, but we, um, <laughs> We both grew up in a countryside. So it was a mainly Caucasian event, but <laughs> we didn't get married in a church. We got married in a barn, lovely barn. Um, made more sense for us as a couple because we're not religious and my wife's a hog, am I right? No, just, just a joke, just a joke. She's beautiful in her own way. And um, I like it, the apple in the mouth. I think it looks good. Uh, striking bride, lift the veil up. You know, her father rotated her down the aisle there, but listen. I didn't really engage in the planning of the wedding. I don't think men really do uh, too much as a generalisation. I think you, uh, you know, what are you really saying when you propose? You're not thinking about the day so much as the rest of it, you know. What are you really saying? You get down on one knee and you give her this ring and you say, listen, when you die, I would like all of your stuff. Uh, because... <laughs> She works in advertising, she's got some nice stuff, and I want it. But um, apparently, obviously, uh, women are apparently uh, much more concerned with the intricacies of the day itself. I read this thing, apparently the average woman has been planning her wedding day since she was 10 years old. Now, my wife was a bit more chilled out than that, mainly because, well, she's nine. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, she wanted Prince Charming, she got Prince Andrew. Okay, now, here, ho, ho there. We're getting going. We're getting going. <laughs> She's great, my wife. She's a type 1 diabetic, which is a serious disease. It's also quite a funny one. Um, <laughs> if you don't know, she has to inject insulin every time she eats. And before she does that, she has to do this maths to work out how much insulin she needs. And sometimes she gets the maths wrong, has to eat something in a panic later. So it's the only relationship I've been in where sometimes we have to stop having sex so that she can run into the kitchen to reheat mash. You know, it's quite a... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite hard to have a quickie with a diabetic, you know, sort of spontaneous. You're on the sofa, the mood strikes, you want to get down to it there and then, but obviously you've got to give the old girl time to carb load, you know. <laughs> By the time she's finished, you know, the moment's gone, and uh, you're out with bread. <laughs> so, <laughs> pop your trousers on and uh, go to the shops. But, um, <laughs> No, you want to marry someone who makes you a better person. That's what my wife does. I really wanted to get in shape for the big day, get in shape. So I was going to the gym a lot. And I remember a week before the wedding, I got chatting to this guy in the steam room of my gym who'd had this amazing life, right? He said he was married to a woman in Australia for 16 years, but then he realised that he was gay and he told his wife who let him go in this beautiful moment of tolerance, acceptance, and now he lives as a gay man in the UK. And I was like, well, that's a great story, but quite selfishly, I'm getting married in a week. Quick question. You didn't know you were gay for 16 years. He's like, yeah, I didn't know at the time, but it makes sense now that I was. And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's great and all, but I'm about to buy 130 people dinner. I mean, <laughs> that's an expensive mistake. You know, I, I want to know. You didn't know for 16 years? He's like, yeah, I didn't know at the time, but it makes sense now that I totally was. Amazing, isn't it? 16 years are sort of tricks that the, uh, the mind can play. Anyway, so... um. <sighs> So I'm blowing this guy in the steam room, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to work out why my eyes are watering, you know, oh, just the Alba soil, it's hard to tell. And I'll let him finish because it's Pride Month, you know, you've got to support minorities and well, that's how they get you. But 